Oh, it's looking cute. Anyway, I can't find my black at all. I just bought a new one because I had a, anyway, you don't need to know, but I'm going to use Posca. This is a Posca paint pen and it's acrylic paint. And so I'm just going to put, I already like kind of did it like that. I'm just going to put a little on my palette. Like I'm just scribbling a little down here. Sorry, I just ate pe a peanut m and Just put a little puddle, try to. And then I'm going to take, <coughs> excuse me, a little and just try to, I don't know if it's good. I should just use the pen like a pen, but I wanted to be able to make um, the lines, the stripes. So let's see. He's got two, but I don't know. I can make three. One, two, three. I'm going to put three. I'm not, I'm not in the shot. Oh, gosh. See, because that's how I would be if I were not with you guys. I'd just be right over top of it. Now, this is acrylic paint. Hopefully it'll, um, oops, excuse me, it'll behave the same way as an acrylic paint does, but that looks good to me, and then I guess I ran out, maybe I can just go like, I'm going to, I'll use it to paint the head, I just don't have as good control, put a little more down on my palette, Excuse me. Oopsie. And then again, I'm going to load my brush and put a few little stripies on this guy. Stripey number one, two. And then I think he even gets a little tail. Uh, I'm looking at my, yep, he gets a tail. And then it gets dip dots. I'm not going to be able to make dip dots because, um, you know what, I'm just going to do it with the pen. It's a little cutesy thing. It's not, you know, realistic. And then he has the antenna. Oh boy, that was good. Oh, bad. Hopefully, if it comes off just like, see, it comes off just like acrylic paint. Pretty much. Not exactly. So, um, I mean, I have, I looked everywhere. I don't know where it could be. My, maybe my, my husband borrowed it, but um, for now, we'll live with this for now. Good. That looks like a good tail. And then the, there's kind of a halo around his head, but mm, I didn't really want to make his head that big. But you know what? This bee is further away, and that bee's closer. But you know what? He needs antenna. Mm, I'm just using the paint pen again and just kind of making a little on my palette, and then I lift it off with the brush. And put a couple little antennas up here. That was really thick. Whether it wasn't that thick. And these are just kind of sticking out here. And he gets a dot. They get a dot on them too. You know what? Let's just leave the bees alone for a minute. Actually, I think she wants us to shade them and stuff, but I'll put the dots on at the very end. Because we didn't finish our flowers yet. I want to make them because that's going to make them look so cute. <laughs> um, base the center of the large flower on the hat with bubblegum pink and shade around the edge of the center with watermelon slice. Deepen the shading with burgundy wine. Highlight with titanium white. So same drill. First, she wants us to use this brighter color. And I'm just going to do all of them at the same time. See, I'm a jump the gunner. But I know. I know what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to load this. Okay. And I'm just following the picture because it's easier than following the words. And I'm going to put some pink back here. And boop. Boop. 
hold on. Right, okay, right here. And right here. I'm just making it darker, but you know what? The other, when I use the burgundy whatever, it's going to make it so dark. She's grinding her beak right now. I don't know if you can hear that because I just gave her peanuts from my peanut M&M's. Gave her a couple little pieces, and so she loved it, and she kept coming back for more. I know how she feels because they're delicious. I'm just going to add a little more right here because it just seems like it needs it right there. Okay. And look how popping that gets already. Uh, what else? A little bit of burgundy wine and then titanium white. Dot the top with titanium. Base the petals white. Shade the petals at the end where they meet the center with watermelon slice. So the same color. I'm going to take that and shade the petals. This is so fun. Because I'm going to zoom in. It really makes it look so cute. So look. You go like this. Once you start doing all this stuff, don't it, it makes you stop thinking about the little, like that my white wasn't opaque, or it was like bumpy or lumpy. As soon as we put the details on, some leaves, all that stuff fades into the background, and you're like, you see the whole picture instead of just that one petal at a time. And I'm rushing, but why? Why not? I want to see it. Okay. Then do this. So we're up next to the center. Just putting a little of this pink right there. And that's it. Then what? Mm. Let's deepen it with the other color. What, Kiwi, what? See, I have some of that over here, and I'm just going to see if I can... Yep, there's some wet paint under there, because I only need a tiny bit. So I just moved off that skin that forms on top, and there we go. Ready? palette paper starts to get full so am I in the shot yes Do do do. All right. And then titanium white. Uh, and dot the top of the center with titanium white. Base the petals. Shade. Paint the thin lines on the petals with burgundy wine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. white. Where's my white? Right here. I'm getting messy. I'm starting to be a little reckless and careless, but you know what? It's just going to show you that, like, it doesn't have to be perfect to look pretty darn good especially from a distance. We used to say that all the time when we went to um, seminars and stuff and classes. 
something happens to it on the way home in the, ooh, I'm just getting too close to my pot. On the way home in the trunk, whatever, in the car, the magic, because when you get it out again, you're like, wow, it doesn't look so bad. Nice, okay. And then I think it said little lines, so let me get my little little, and I'm gonna use that uh, burgundy wine and make it really inky. And I think these little lines are gonna be like here. I'm gonna try and stay in the shots there. A little watery so they're not as it's not as opaque the color is a little washy looking so I'm just I just reloaded oh, anyway uh, it's so little and subtle you know just take it as a whole so let's see are these the same on here I don't think these um, get it on here she's she only calls for it up there and then there's little white dots on the top of him like this. And then, is there any on these? Yeah, she put a couple. Cute. <clears throat> and then what? I think we need little, uh, we're going to put the green on. Man, this is exciting. Something else on the wings. No, I think that's good. Um, The green, right? So let's see. Paint the center of the flowers. We have it right here. It says shade around the edge and centers with brilliant. Oh, because, all right, this is the directions for both pieces. Paint the vines and stems with a brush mix of avocado and a little bit of black green. And paint the leaves with avocado. I am going to take my palette paper off and throw it away because it's just too messy. I'm going to put avocado. And a little bit of black green. Black green. Yep. And that's a brush mix. So I'm just going to use, let's see, zoom up and I'll show you. I take I get a little bit of water on my brush. Move it over, man. Okay. A little bit of avocado. And a little bit of black green and it's like just a brush mix keep it wet because I'm gonna go right to my piece because I'm just making stems and I'm just gonna follow her pattern so there's one right here and this is kind of attached over here and there's like a leaf right here and a leaf over here and then there's a leaf right here and there's gonna be the stems I just want to double check eh, yeah it looks right because both of the directions for the there's directions for the other thing on here too and I just want to make sure so I did trace these on so I'm just gonna go right over the tracing And there are a couple of different, let's say, which one is this leaf? This is attached to the stem. This is attached to the stem. There's one over here. 
And there's two over here, one, and I can't really see this one, but it's approximately right there. And then there's a whole bunch down here in the hand. Let's see what that says. It says, um, I know I saw something about it. It uh, no. And I was in hands. No. Yeah, I saw something about it somewhere. These these little guys, but I guess I'm just gonna do it the same color. They look the same color. I'm just gonna do the same brush mix. A little black green, a little avocado and just pull these i'm going to use this as my guide pull these out of his hand so there are one two three there's five four and that looks cute. Proportionate to these. These are the little, that's the other, supposedly the other stem, so it's a little disproportionate, but my brush was splitting. Good enough. Now we're going to put a few little leaves and I'm going to see if I have a tiny little filbert brush or flat brush. This is tiny, but I don't think sometimes and eh, this one might work. I don't know. I I I abuse my brushes. Aha, look at this one. That's tiny, but it might be too, 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 too tiny. And you can use a round brush to make these leaves. You can use, um, I'll do a little leaf tutorial. Usually what you do when you make a leaf, a filbert is ideal, and I probably have a tiny little filbert. I just can't find it when I'm in the middle of a tutorial. I should gather these all around. All. Ooh, here's a small filbert. I'll try that one. It's not tiny, but it's good. Okay. Ooh. So a filbert, it's like already shaped like the bottom of a leaf. I'm just going to load this up. So. Oopsie. So it's kind of like you, you hold it on the side a little bit, like you don't go flat like this. You have to have it, um, the brush, so you're holding it kind of at an angle. You kind of go, you use the side of the brush, and then you pick up so that, the, that you come up on the edge of the brush like that. So push down and pick up. And to make them small, you just don't push down as hard. So this is a number four. So like if you had a number two or a three, we'd be good to go with these because this is these are tiny on here, but mine can be made with a number four. So you're just gonna push down and pick up. See, like this the the little part of the tip of the brush, I can kind of make them tinier ish. But I can also use this whole brush and make them much bigger, you know. So, all right. Then it said, I think it said to use the um, avocado. But I can also do them with a flat. So where's the other brushes I grabbed? This is a number four blender. So that's not even what I'm supposed to be using it for. And then where was that other flat that I liked? I left it in the water. This one. Like, this is a really, no, it's not even this brush. I can't, oh, okay, wait. 
This is a number four flat. Forget. I'm going to just get going. Oh, nope. I'm going to use, like, you could probably do it with a round if you flatten the brush out. So I'm going to load it. And if you flatten it out, see, you can flatten it out like that. But I can also make a little thin line like that. See? So if you flatten it out and you just use the side and kind of, oh, nope. I don't have a lot of control with the, with the round. You can fake it. You can kind of get a leafy shape. You can also just double like that. You can paint it in instead of doing a one stroke. So just paint it in. I might do that because I want to make them little. I want to make them, like they're kind of small on here. So, and this is not with the black green, it's with the avocado. So let me just load this brush and see what happens. Um, maybe just stroke it in. Am I in the shot? A lot of water on my brush. I like doing it in like two strokes. I can make it, I have a lot more control. That looked, that was a little big. And actually, am I in the right color? Because I think these should be popping more. It's probably just because my the lavender color that I used isn't as light as her lavender was because I substituted it. Substitute. But they're little. That makes me happy. So I'm just kind of like painting them in. That looks pretty. I'm sure she'll have us do something else to them. Uh, let's see if I can just paint these on. These will show up better. Am I in the shot? Yes. Kiwi, make sure I'm in the shot, Kiwi. Would you just make sure, please? Oh, jeez. They're dry. They're already dry, but I was sticking my hand right in what I just did. I'm getting old, guys. I remember painting. I can't see. Like, I just, it's, when the stuff is so little like this, like, you feel blind. My eyes start to water when I try to see it. I have bifocals in my glasses, but it's weird. It is weird. Okay. I call leaves feathers too all the time. All right. That looks pretty good, right? And then we got to do these puppies down here. Let me just see if she wanted us to do anything else. Paint the vines and stems, blah, 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 blah. Dot the flowers along the vines on the hat with bubblegum pink and wild orchid. The t with the tip of a liner brush, dot tiny highlights on the dotted flowers. Okay. Dot the top of the center. I did that. Base. This. Okay, paint the lines on the petals. I think we're good because... That's all it's saying for the leaves. Mm. So they're not really showing up on here. So I'd like to go like a brighter color. So I'll probably just, I'll change that myself. Like these are showing up fine, but the ones on the hat are kind of fading out. But look, it's starting to come together, you guys. It's so pretty. We just have to finish these, and then there's a little other flowers up there, and I think we're done. Um, I'll varnish it with you guys, too. I'll show you how I varnish. Um, so let's just put these on. 
with the tip of a liner brush, dot tiny high, oh, paint, okay, dot the flowers along the vines on the hat and bubble with bubblegum pink and wild orchid. I think wild orchid is purple. Yeah, so if you look at, see, maybe that's not on her, on this one. See, these look yellow. These are bubblegum pink and a little bit of yellow. And then if you look at this one, because the hat is green, she probably went with the purple on the hat one. And he's not holding. Oh, look, and she put dots on his little, okay. But on this one, it looks like, and then these are just like, maybe um, bubblegum pink highlight. It kind of looks like it's a, uh, like a, um, what are they, a pussy willow. So I'm gonna get bubblegum pink, and I'm just gonna make little dots, and then I'll shade. I'm gonna use the tip of my brush though. I'm not gonna use like a dip dot. I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush, kiwi, and just make little like forsythia or pussy willow. Pussy willow. Ooh, I had a lot of water on there, see? You can tell when you put the paint down. And then there's one here. And there's a couple on this one, you know, and then there's one up here. And there are a couple over here. And that's it. I mean, I could go crazy. I swear, I love these. All these details just make me so happy. All right. And these guys aren't even on the tracing. They're only on the picture on the hat. But she just took a little bit of this pink and kind of dotted around the vines a little bit just to add a little something. So that's what I'm doing. Like they're little pussy willow blooms almost or something like that. And right here. I want to do some yellow ones too. Boy, they are messy because the tip of my brush is not, uh, it's a little wild. The, t the hairs are wild. But that's super cute. And then these, I'm going to put a little bit of that uh, dark fuchsia. And then the last thing I think is to just do the d d d dots. There was something else about the wings, which I think she has on the bigger ones. Let's see. Yeah, like on here, see, she has these brown lines on the wings, which is super cute. But I guess these are bigger. See, the sign is much bigger, so there was more room for details. But on um, ours, it's just small, and I think they're good. I'm not going to stress over it. I'm going to see if I have a Posca. Here's a fine line Posca. I am bummed that I can't find my black. Now I'm not going to be able to paint black stuff because, um, oopsie, I don't think Michael's is going to be open for a while. Like, that's crazy. Okay, that's good. So we'll go with a little dip dot on top of there and some dots just kind of going boop like he's flying away or something. Actually, that was amazing. That really was great, okay? And then this one kind of trails off. Like he came from inside the... But that worked really well, didn't it? I just hope it's the same type of paint, like, because I was just going to varnish it, and who knows if it'll just, like, pull everything off. What else? I was supposed to, okay, I have to go back with a little bit of yellow. I'm going to use <sighs> antique gold. And just put a few of these up here as well with, what, my liner brush? Yeah, I'll use my liner brush. So, right like here, 
Oh, maybe um, I should use the cad yellow. Like this seems very dark, but I'll highlight it with the cad yellow maybe. Yellow here. Yeah, it's showing up. And then this gets shaded with, um, I think I'm going to pull those leaves with a little bit of a lighter green. I think I have celery green. I just don't like, they're not showing up. They're disappearing, Kiwi. Oops, I mean it, they are. I mean, it's, it's the same color as we've been using, so... They just pop better. Maybe I'll put a little on these too. And these like are these blend in on the bright on the bee skep. They're not as it's so funny how. But I think I'm gonna um use this and make a little vein through them to kind of connect everything. So, in other words, you can't have too much water, though. It looks good. You know, it's personal preference, really. Because I think they showed up just fine, but I was, some reason was making me doubt that. And oh boy, there's too much water on my brush. All right, and then, aha, uh -huh, we need this fuchsia. I think Kiwi needs, I mean, Kirby needs water. Kirby has a, um, like a metal dish dog bowl. And it's in a, like, it's in a little stand. So it rattles against the side when she's out of water. See how it made it show up? All these little things really just help. Little itty bitty tweaks are really helpful. Um, I think that's it, you guys. There was something on the little bee's wing, but I'm gonna leave it. I think he's done. It. I'm going I'm to come back and varnish, okay? I'm going to clear off my desk, make sure this is dry. I think I would tweak anything I want to tweak, erase any um, graphite lines that are there, make sure it's how you want it, and then we're going to varnish and glue on the, um, oh, there's a little white line on his nose, like a highlight. I could do that right here. Looks good. And so anyway, I'll go around and kind of do any of that stuff that I want to do. And I'll be back to varnish. All right, he's all done. Or she. I don't know. That's a he. All right, unless she's, anyway, has a huge beard. Um, so I am going to varnish. I did spray it with a matte sealer spray because I just wasn't sure about the Posca Black. I didn't want it to smear when I um, 
varnish. And uh, so I'm going to take this and I use an old brush. This has been my varnish brush forever. And it just has synthetic bristles. And I take this is the Decor Delta Saran Coat. I'm sorry, De Delta Saran Coat Matte Interior Varnish. Just give it a little swirl around because you don't want to make bubbles usually. But I am not careful, you guys. And I am literally just putting it right on it instead of even putting it on a palette. And I just give it a nice coat. And while that's drying, I'll read you the rest of the finishing. I did go around the edges, but I didn't paint the back of it. I'm lazy, and that's just me. So I'm just touching the edges with the varnish as well. Kind of seal them. You can tell I'm not real particular. And it's a little puddly in, in some spots. Like in the nooks and crannies, it's probably better to not go as thick. But then I'm just going to gently... And I have a fan on because I just got a hot flash, but... And then I'm just going to let it see. And this is a matte finish, so it won't be too shiny. And I'm just going to set this down on my on top of my paints. Put this in water because it's a water-based varnish. And that's it. I'm just, I'm not really going to, you could do two coats. Let's see. The directions say, gently shake bottle. Apply over dry, clean painted surface. Let dry approximately 10 minutes. And then you could do another couple coats. It says, apply a minimum of three coats for maximum protection. All right, let's go back to her finishing. It says, here, you know what? I don't know if that's blowing in the speaker. Um, I am going to just use this came with it, with the wood cut out. It's just a little block, a one-inch block. Um, but you could also glue it to the 9-inch Jumbo Memo Clips, and that's what I used for, I have a, an elf that I did for Christmas. I have a gingerbread guy that I did for Christmas. But this one, I am just going to use this block. I think I do have one more of the Memo Clips, but I'm not going to use it. Um, it says if you're using this for, oh, no, no. If you're using this as a stand up tabletop piece, paint the back block with a brush mix of pistachio, mint, evergreen. I think she means paint the back of the piece and the block, which I'm probably not going to paint the back at all, with a mix of pistachio and evergreen. Making sure not to paint one side of the block that you will glue to the back of, of the painted gnome. So, and then there's a tip, she says, to make sure your pieces stand straight and does not wobble, stand the wood piece up vertically and slide the glued block. So I'll put a little glue on here and I'll slide it up to it and then just kind of hold it so that it you can see that it stands up straight. Hold a few minutes until the glue sets and then it says this is a good way to attach the block evenly to the back. Um, I did sign it on the back. So let me see. One thing, um, I usually have toothpicks right here because I can just see that there's, um, in these little areas here, there's a little varnish that's like thick. That's all. it'll dry clear. Anywho, I signed it on the back with a pen, Sarah 2020, and then I'm going to glue my block right to the back and he'll stand up. All right, you guys, so that's it. Happy painting and have a good one. Thanks for watching.